Hello Pascal Monsters, it's pretty nice to have you once again, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to the next step without further ado, please think about supporting me by subscribing to my channel. There are several Pascal compilers and interpreters available for general use. Among these are Turbo Pascal, provides an IDE and compiler for running Pascal's programs on CP, M, CP slash M86, DOS, Windows and Macintosh. Lazarus IDE, provides compilers for running object Pascal and generates native code for 32-bit and 64-bit Windows operating systems as well as 32-bit Mac OS X and iOS. Embarcadero is planning to build support for the Linux and Android operating system. Free Pascal, it is a free compiler for running Pascal and object Pascal programs. Free Pascal compiler is a 32 and 64-bit Turbo Pascal and Delphi compatible. Pascal compiler for Linux, Windows, OS slash 2, FreeBSD, Mac OS X. DOS and several other platforms. Turbo 51, it is a free Pascal compiler for the 8051 family of microcontrollers, with Turbo Pascal 7 syntax. Oxygen, it is an object Pascal compiler for the .NET and Mono platforms. GNU Pascal, GPC, it is a Pascal compiler composed of a front-end to GNU compiler collection. We will be using Lazarus IDE in these tutorials. You can download free Lazarus IDE for your operating system from the link in the description below. Let's start installing it this monster, I wanted to warn you that the lastest version of Lazarus IDE has a FPC bug, so I will show you how to fix this problem. Now let's start installing our favorite compiler, Lazarus IDE in this case. First pick up your favorite browser, in my case it is Mini Opera Browser. Second step tap in the search bar Lazarus IDE then press enter and wait for the page to load up. Click on the link Lazarus home page. Next step select the suitable version for your device we either it's 64 bit or 32 bit, the browser will detect your device version anyway so all you have to do is to click on download now or the button arrow below it to check out for other version in case you have other Linux or Mac distributions. Accept the privacy politics then hold on until the 5 seconds countdown finish. A directory window will show up. Pick up a directory to save your Lazarus setup file. In this case we will choose the desktop. Click save and wait for it to download, it will take few seconds but it depends on how your device performs.
Now our file has been downloaded successfully. We can get into the next step of the installation. Go to the directory of your setup file then double click this last, an administrator request will show up, click on yes. Pick up a language, I will choose English for me as a default language for the installation. Click Next. Leave the directory of Lazarus in the main root otherwise you may have problems later. Make sure that full installation is selected, then click next and next again. Check up both options to delete any older version of Lazarus and to create a shortcut in the desktop, then click next. Last step is install click it and wait for it to install. Go get a cup of coffee and d wait for it to download. Finally press finish to finish the installation. This way we had finished installing Lazarus IDE successfully. Now let's get into the configuration, but before we will fix a an FPC problem in the new version. Double click on Lazarus icon on the desktop and wait for it to show the first window of pre-configuration. Double click on LAS as you can see, we have an error alert in the FPC resources due to some bug, I did some research and I found out that the developers of Lazarus forgot to update the new directories of some importance files. So I spent some time trying to fix it. And I end up by finding the problem, just change the directory of the compiler, to the new one and it will work just fine. Click on stop to stop scanning. Next go to the compiler tab then change the directory as you see in the video, otherwise check out the other directory with the dollar sign. This should solve the problem. Wait for the software to update it directories. Click on Start IDE. Now your Lazarus IDE is working correctly. Now let's make our development environment more comfortable. Let's size up the windows to take all the white space out. Next let's go to the top bar menu and click on view then pick up messages, a console will appear in the bottom. Now let's size up as well to fit within the space. Next let's go back to the top bar menu and click on tools tab then pick up options, a frame will appear.
Let's search for display on the right view list. Then click it. Let's click on the small button to change the font for our text editor. We will choose Consola's font. It's very clean and pretty for programming. Then let's pick a size for our font as well. New let's switch to the next view list option color, the click on default and choose ocean theme. You can either keep it as it is or customize the color like me. Check out the other tabs to change the colors for any other element in the IDE user interface. As you can see you have all the options here, you can specify your own preferences. Click OK and you will apply all the changes on your user interface for the IDE. Now we have a nice and a clean environment to code, let's configure our IDE for the coming video. Photo file in the bar menu on the top shows close all this will close the default project. Click File once again then a frame with a list of all the default project you can create with Lazarus. Go to Project List and select Simple Program then click OK. Congratulations! You are ready to code you first lines of Pascal language. So let's repeat what we did in this video. We saw a range of compilers and we picked up and installed Lazarus IDE on our device. We configured our IDE and fixed a FPC bug in the new version of Lazarus. In the coming video we will configure the IDE options to be more comfortable for programming. Thanks for watching the video, please like to support me, share with other beginners, subscribe to get the updates and comment if you have questions. See you in the next video.